Hi guys, welcome to The Gun Shop with me, John, and today we are going to be filming you a video on this, the Browning 525, and more importantly, how to remove its ejectors. So, uh, start by taking it apart, which is a real simple one. Just pop the forend off, and pop barrels out of the action like that. Okay, this is probably the easiest, easiest one to do. All you need is one of these. This is a screwdriver uh, that fits. A screwdriver that fits. Uh, so pop the extractor all the way to the end of its travel. You know, don't pull it out because well, you won't be able to. You get your screwdriver, you put it in this beautiful hole here. There's a long one, not there. But went to this there. You put it in, you unscrew. Then what you do, turn it like that. Give it a little shake, and it will just shake it. Once it's hit its end of travel, just shake it, and it will just that screw will pop out. If you've got a magnetic screwdriver, it will come, but I don't use magnetic screwdrivers. Uh, and that just pops out. That's a two-piece unit. Take it apart, clean it, and so on and so forth. And unsurprisingly, the other side is pretty much the same. Uh, so that's good, isn't it? Other way around, aka okay, putting it in, Put it like that, put this one like that. Well, if you take them both out at the same time, it's always wise just to put this in one pot, and put the other unit in the other pot. So you do not mix them up. Not that it's really possible to put them in the wrong way around, but it might save you two minutes and looking foolish. So, sorry, let's say you just take that piece, that piece, you link them together. This little lump here goes in that hole. And you do that. And slide them in. So you put it all the way down to travel, you travel it back and you only re you put it into the end of its travel just to make that you have put it in the right side and it all fits and there's nothing wrong there. You take this, you take your tiny screw, you put your tiny screw in the tiny hole, you take your tiny screwdriver, you put it in the tiny screw and you do it up. Just like that. All right. so. so, there you go guys, uh, but very quickly I'm just going to show you the other side. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to remove and replace a Browning ejector. Uh, works very similarly on all the Maruku Browning models. Uh, B525s, proper Belgian Brownings are a bit different. We might do those at a later date. So, reasons to do this. Firstly, to clean them. Uh, cleaning them is very important. And also, make sure you clean inside there and any dirt between there and there is just gonna push your gun off of the face. And secondly, there is no other reason to remove your ejectors apart from to clean them. Fantastic guys, take care and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.